Welcome back to Let's Play Overlord Rising Hell. I'm one of the When we last left off, we were in the Evernight Abyss doing Evernight Abyssy things. Blues. Blues way here. This is a man stop. And by man stop, I mean a cut of his and flu. Pardon me, I have the hiccups. I try to eat before I do these uh, recordings because it perks me up, wakes me up. Gets the people going, as it were. That is with the sound of me drinking a beverage. Ooh. Big old pod. Like I said, these things are a great source for, for energy. Because they carry all the different kinds of colors. I'm guessing there's a reason we need to go all the way up there. Probably a chest down there. Yep. Clearly. Start hoarding money. There's gotta be something to buy with it. The dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. I could change the act. <laughs> I just want to stay here and screw with this. This is the most fun abyss yet. <laughs> Come on, start act one so I can play with this. In which the elven race live peacefully, deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by their unworthy deity. The Mother Goddess. I hope I don't have to kill the narrator. <laughs> that would be a I, my friend, Nope! We ah, there's the lighting cue. Right, act one again. Ooh, there's something down there. What is that, my spy? Looks like a spell. Let me deal with this one, please. This guy looks dangerous. Oh no, I'm going to have to stick ten minions and roll a controller myself, aren't I? Oh no. Back up away from the man shooting. There's a prop. We're spending mana on. Whoa! Why am I losing bodies all over the place? Someone's lobbing grenades. I don't like this. You guys stay here. Can I reach these guys from down here? No. Man in there? Yes. Alright, instead of bombarding my minions. Actually, on second thought, you know what? I'm gonna just raid these chests and leave. I got no reason to kill those guys if I don't have to. Ah, oh, my nose. Come on, guys. Ooh, an auto save. 
This must be where those wraiths playing the dwarves get ready, sire. Ah, splendid work. Very moving. Couldn't give me an autograph, could you? No. <coughs> Pardon me. Pardon me. Ugh, that's the second one coming up. How do we get down there? Oh, that's it. What the? Sorry, my cat was nibbling at my leg. Attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. You're gonna have to be ready, because when Act 2 ends, those guys are gonna come marching back in here. Is there a minion summoning pool over there? No. Hmm. Tether still broken. Back to Act 1. Get back in here, guys. This is about to get violent. Do I still have a blue in there? Yeah, I do. Act one, in which the elven race live peacefully, deep in the Evernight forest. Are they not coming back? By their unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. I guess they're not coming back. Let's move on then. Friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two. The guy is starting to get sing songy. Attack Evernight Forest. Dwarves. Dwarves. I think that's your cue, Master. Hooray! I'm an actor. Get the red on that, please. I'm fairly sure killing these guys will result in dark energy. Please tell me I'm not corrupted from that. No. Not yet. You guys done pushing? Ha! He's up here for his autograph. Let's kill the people torturing these fellows. Are you the understudies? <laughs> the play must go on and on and on and on. Hmm. Mines. Prepare for Act One, you useless creatures. Without the terror, the play can't progress to the third act. I hear it has a great ending, sire. Truly epic. There must be a way further backstage. Uh, well, if in doubt, push, smash, or kill until you get some answers, Master. Ah, there we are. Act One. In which the elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by their unworthy deity. Uh, I don't know if you all heard that. My joyful, wonderful cats are causing destruction and chaos. Now, drop that and come back. I need a clearer view on that. I would be wrong. You're going to be able to run to that place in time. Oh! Never mind! 
This way, guys. You must be right behind the stage, sire. It's where all the lovely, wonderful magic of the theater happens. Huh. Well, uh, this guy was dangerous. That was highly upsetting. I wonder if I can get back there. I can. Deep in the Evernight Forest. I need to. By the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Come on. I know that voice. Condescending tone. No, well, it will come to me, sir. I'm sure it will. It's only take a few. My friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Oh, it took me a full second to realize what that was. I'm like, huh, it's a guy with a club. Is he going to jump down and swing at us? Then he pointed and was like, oh, that's not a gun, that's a club. Take a I better get good reviews for this for, for this theater. I have the best actor ever. I demand good reviews. Not gonna open, huh? What? What is with my felines? I am recording, kitty cat. Shoo! He's flicking his tail at me like, you don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Thank you for knocking that down on your way out. What is going on with these felines? I legitimately do think I have to blow that wall up. I hate, hate, hate trying to do this. Come on, or spawn into an existence. Okay. Now grab it. And I want you to run. No, you ain't gonna make it. Yeah, bye. That's not gonna happen. Okay, maybe I have to move the stage back into place. We'll try that. Huh. Protected by their unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. That worked. Hi, my friend. We are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of our worship, she to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack. Is that another axe? No, it's that looks like a mace. We're bringing cannon out here now. I'm guessing the elves are listed as friendly now. Yep. Can I put 13 more people on this again? Can I move it again? No. Can I get four people on that? Hmm. 
Is there some entrance I'm supposed to have cleared? A bone would be nice. Legit lost on this one. I can't lose myself. They're determined to carry it over there. Could you guys carry it down there? No. And they'll just come back over here again. I may hate you from over here. How about over here? No. Nope, just kind of legit lost on this one. It feels like I honestly, truly have to blow up this wall. Can I wreck it myself? No. And the closest mines, which I can see, are the ones over here. I see. I see. That might work. Moving that has opened this path. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. I think he got close. Come on. Terra still broken. Back to I quad. Hmm. Got it. A few sacrifices later. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the mother goddess. Her statue isn't even down there. Although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Two, in which the dwarves attack ever night, cracking the elves into the ground of their precious forest. As I've said before, this is a very short play. That opens that up, which means we can push out the board one more time. Right! Progress! So far, this is my favorite abyss. Mostly because it's not nearly as confusing as the other ones. Not a save right on time. If you can find a way to fix that thing. And now create the mate of Doom, sire. I haven't seen an of Doom weapon for years. Each power strike from this will send your enemies flying through the air. Huh. Not a sword though, so I'm not interested. Alright. 
let me go through the back to the tower this way so I will save my waypoint when we come back we'll continue along the abyss trying to get it solved and all that whatnot see you guys there this is Wormataco signing off bye bye